Everybody, welcome back. Sid here on Ancient Warfare, and uh, you find me up on the roof of the Grand Hall, um, just filling the top in, and I'm getting ready to at least start with the. There's a gap, one gap. I'm, I'm going to live with that. There's going to be some crenellations coming on off of this bit. You find just getting this ready to have a uh, a roof added to it. And, uh, and amongst other things, I'm getting it ready. Um, we are going to need to do some resource gathering for this roof. As I previously said in the last episode, we're going to need a fair bit of clay. And blue wool isn't as big a problem. Uh, damn it, run out. Let me do a couple of stacks of those. But this will just make it easier for me to get the actual... Uh, plan what we're going to do with the roof and uh, yeah that's the idea anyway whether it will work like this in practice who knows now I'm not sure whether I'm going to do the the stripes down the side because of the the way this this roof is obviously we've got these windows which really won't work with that limestone stripe but yeah we'll we'll deal with that one when we come to it it certainly won't upset me if I don't do them because they are an absolute pain to do. Um, a lot of dirt scaffolding involved, shall we say. Well, yeah, we shall say. So, yeah, we've got this kind of going on on the top. And then what I was thinking was pr uh, probably about here. How, what, what point did I do that from? You are... You're only as wide as that, which does... Well, I suppose you're as wide as that. Now, if I were to come to there, let's widen that one that way. And uh, we shall pop this up here. So it is going to have a, a peaked roof. Very much like this. Uh, now, that can probably come down to... Mm, there is going to be there, I think. Whether this will work or not, I don't really, really do not know, but after all, what we've got to lose is blocks. I can always break them again, and uh, and no doubt will on occasion. Um, but yeah, so get that kind of thing going. We'll just uh, we'll hide a bit of light in the roof cavity, uh, just so when we cover it over with carpenter's uh, stairs to start off with it is actually spawn free and I'm, I'm just gonna I'm probably gonna overhang the gables here but um, I just wanted to uh, yes I could really have done with some dirt or something because that's going to be a pain otherwise and I'm certainly going to need more of these carpenter stairs anyway which I'm sure my carpenter oh I was gonna I said I'd do that later didn't I yes but that's going to come up, and then you'll have, as I say, just a, just a kind of peat roof, and then it's flat roof, a peat roof on a flat roof, if that kind of makes sense. Does it make sense? I don't know. Do I care? Not too much, because it's a game, and... Oh, thank you. Why? I don't know why it didn't want to place there. I wasn't that close to it, but there we go. Um... We're going to, as I say, need some, well, for the inside structure, I suppose, yeah, we can just use cobble. Doesn't matter, you won't be able to see it, does it? Uh, okay. Let's do that. And, uh, that. And then, uh, similarly, just across the middle here. That should give us all the, uh, scaffold we need, I think. Yeah should do. As I say, still going to need more carpenter stairs though, so yeah, we'll deal with that when we come to it uh, in about half a dozen blocks time. Yeah, because we've only got four left up here. So I'm going to need to go and grab those. Uh, oh, no, come back here, you. And probably a few other bits but we desperately need clay that's uh, 
an absolute must because we need hardened clay which we can, we can turn into the uh, woolen clay, blue woolen clay. Let me show you what I've done in here. I've made a few changes. So we've got these chains hanging down now with the uh, chandeliers on and I've, I've kind of evened them out a little bit. So I think that looks a hell of a lot better than it did. We've got blue blue wool, we've got some carpenter's blocks, but is it going to be just, am I going to be easier? Let me go and grab some stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, oh, did I have, let me just check, did I have lapis lazuli up here, or do I need to, yes I did, so I just need hardened clay, and uh, now in terms of where to get hardened clay, the bay here is actually very deep, so it's going to be hard to retrieve hardened clay from it. Now, there might be a little bit in these ponds over here. There's certainly possibly a bit up here, and in this swamp area here, and here, and then there's this rather nice shallow area here, which looks like it could be a, a good point to go clay hunting. So, um, yeah, I'll get that done. Uh, that's, but I did notice I think there may be a little bit there there's certainly I think maybe some there and maybe a little bit there and there's also oh that creeper's gone uh, yeah let's get it Whee! definitely some there <laughs> right so yeah I need clay lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of clay and of course we haven't seen a anything that even vaguely resembles a mesa, so we are a uh, bit, of, bit of lag spike there we are at the mercies of having to do this 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 seems awfully familiar to um, Mega Vale strangely enough we'll have that one as well that should give us some it does go a fair you do get a lot for you, a lot of bang for your buck out of this. Oh, there's some, definitely some there. So yeah, I'm going to uh, grab what I can from the immediate vicinity, and uh, I will be back with you. Oh, I think I've got. Did I have respiration three? Oh, brilliant. Even better. Under the sea. Sorry, not singing. I I know I promised I would never sing. Um. I know I break that promise regular as well. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to grab this in the immediate vicinity and I will be back with you once we've moved a little bit further out. And uh, actually, maybe the deepness of this water isn't too bad, as soon as I've got underwater vision as well. Yeah, but anyway, I will see you in a little You know, there's one thing to be said for Highlands Mod, it makes them bloody deep water look at this they're just the sheer depth no wonder i was drowning without the water breathing when i was trying to place those pillars this was uh seriously seriously deep uh yeah i'm i'm just kind of still drifting around here because i figured with the water breathing i've got much more flexibility when it comes to clay finding in the local vicinity so uh, out there here hello clay I shall have you but I just kind of wanted to point out the actual scale and beauty of the undersea undersea landscape here it's um it's deep to say the least yeah uh, I think that that roof might look a little bit derpy but it'll do once we've got the crenellations on as well, I don't think we'll be uh, be too bad. But uh, yeah, this is this is seriously deep. Seriously, like deep man, it's like seriously deep. Anyway, I'm going to go and cook uh, all this clay I've got, set that running, and uh, we'll see how we go with that for starters before I go running off resource gathering, because resource gathering is always the bit that takes. The, the time when you're doing any episode like this so uh, well any any kind of recording a lot of the time is just spent between episodes or between takes 
gathering those elusive resources. So yeah, anyway, we'll uh, we will get. I mean, there's going to be sixty four. Uh, well, 128 blocks of clay there straight off the bat and then I must have missed some because obviously I've got a lot missing one there. Haddock's doing his usual thing. So yeah, we'll get this into the uh, into the smelteries and uh, I'll probably just pile them in manually unless they are running. No, they're not. Let's have a look what I'm like. Oh dear, we haven't got much space in there though. But we can uh, pop you in there you in there yep so I'll get that stuff sorted and uh, while we're here we'll check you we'll have that thank you I might as well take all of this out as well put that in there so yeah um, these guys are obviously very busy so uh, back in a little all yeah, right so I've got a whole load of uh, clay um, there's still more cooking down there. I just didn't want to uh, waste time faffing around um, with this. So I'm thinking that I am going to do a couple of stacks of uh, oh God, what am I doing? Of this woolen clay. Um, and as I've said before, I'll, I oh, oh, that's right. Yes, oh, it's all right. I was panicking then, I was like, oh crap, what have I done? Because that, it's just, it's not wool, I think is, is, the, is the line here. The reason I like it is because it's not wool. Um, obviously, wool's great, it's fine, um, but, you know, when you're using it for a coloured block, it has that wool texture, which really doesn't work for me. It's... Um, I mean, it's clearly wool. It's also combustible, which, you know, if you get a lightning strike, means that your your blocks, you know, you're going to be... Well, you're going to be on fire, aren't you? Let's, let's not beat around the bush. You are going to be a little bit burny. Oop. Come here, you. And you. So... This is going to come around here. Uh, I want that dirt. I, uh, I only use dirt because my shovel has got some breaking on it, and my pickaxe doesn't. Uh, and I've got plenty of diamonds. I can make make another one should I need to. But you know why? Why waste things when you don't have to? Um, and I'd like you to come out like that. I'm going to have a um, Blocks on the top, which will hammer down. Uh, uh. This should make it look a little bit less. Uh, do I want that to come out one? No, I don't, because I'm going to have a roof on that tower, and that may interfere. Uh, hup, 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 and a plob, and uh, plob, plob. Do. Come on, get in there. And then we can take you out. Uh, of course, the other thing with dirt is you don't actually have to use a tool. It's not such a chore to uh, break it by hand. And I want you to go there, there, there. I'd like you like that. There, there, and there. I often get asked by people when I'm on servers, you know, to help with roofs. Roofs seem to be one of those things that people have problems with and I don't know why they're not but yeah maybe you know I suppose when you can do something it's not a problem um, obviously in, obviously as I do working in IT um, offer a day job you know uh, I, I will often jokingly say to uh, people you know you say oh that's easy and it's it's realistically it's easy if you know how uh, not so easy if you don't. So we've got a very blue, very, very blue roof here. Uh, I also want this. Uh, let me 
save my hammer durability by uh, tip with things. If you knock a thing, the next block you place next to it will conform to the collapse status of the other block. So you can save your durability of your hammer a bit by um, by hammering one and then placing. Same goes with carpenter's barriers, in fact any of the carpenter's blocks and the collapsible ones will try to match as well. So uh, it's a useful one. Now there was actually, I did want to mention, because Neil mentioned a uh, thing, the glowstone. We don't have the version of chisel which gives us the coloured glowstone unfortunately, so I couldn't use the green the green glowstone that we uh, that we could have used to disguise the glowstone even better in the lighting. But if you do have that, yes, you're absolutely right. Using a dark green glowstone uh, as hidden lighting in grass uh, makes it even less obvious. So yeah, good good tip there. If you uh, if you have that feature available to you. Pardon me, little burp there. That's me telling me I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I'm ready for tea, but uh, I wanted to get this done before I ate, and then I can uh, relax while we're doing that. Um, so yeah, I think this just looks better than wool. That is that is where I am sticking to, and uh, now there is also a feature and maybe I'll just want to have a look at that because there is a carpenter's chisel Ooh, oh yeah good two stacks was absolutely perfect so that gives us a roof on the top now the other thing we need is to look at what we're going to do about the um, the crenellations here so what I did, I'm trying to think, I need to go probably have a look. And while we're at it, let me just have a quick a quick peek at that chisel. I'm sure there is a carpenter's chisel. Yes, carpenter's chisel at an, a chisel and an iron block. I haven't got any iron on me, unfortunately. But that allows you to add texture to the blocks, which might be absolutely perfect to get rid of the madness of that roof. Maybe. But first things first, let me have a look at what I did way on those corner pieces because I can't quite remember. Uh, yeah, I did them like that, didn't I? Hmm. Right. Let's go and have a look at that then. So for the corner pieces on the crenelations, we... Oh, sun's going down so we're not going to get a lot done before before sunset and I may get that carpenter's chisel done um, once we've just sorted this out so if I go right this is where this is where I get this is where it's a pain shall we say because you and then we do the same again here and here now I could do those stripes down there and I may do yet but that's a that's a pain of the old. That's a pain with the old scaffold, shall we say? Uh, we'll go like you, and then this one. I want at this point. I want to go one, and then this one, two, three, and one, one. Two, ah, crap! That is not going to play nicely. And oh, I got it back. Let's see how we can do this then to uh, to keep this theme going. But if we go to there, and then like that. Did I do like that? I can't remember now. Oh, sun's going down. Let me just check this out and I will uh, also get this chisel done and be back with you. Alright, I think I've got a design that is kind of working around here. Um, difficult to see from here of course but if I just scotch over here you should be able to make out so basically I've swept the curve down one further on this one with a solid block and then just two half blocks here just to to raise the crenellations up a little bit now these are just straight alternatives and that kind of goes nicely there 
Now I have got my carpenter's chisel, so what I want to do, rather than try it on the roof before we do anything, let's just place one of those down and place some of that on it. So if we right click, we can chisel different patterns into this. And that might, yeah, I think that's going to work, you know. Uh, just chop you up. Uh, uh. So, and this thing is pretty cheap actually, but it does give it the tile, takes away that from that blueness. Yeah, I am not, I am not displeased with that at all. Let's. Um, would it be nice if it was a darker, uh, a darker line rather than a light line? But you know, you work with what you're given, don't you? But it does look more like a blue. Well, I suppose it is, it is a, a brick texture. So. Maybe actually this top, can we get away with a, a different texture on there, do you think? Maybe. Gives it a different feel, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's obviously hitting the durability of this chisel a lot, but um, who am I to complain, eh? Oh, damn it. So it obviously looks at the block next to it to work out what textures to apply. Useful to know for future reference. Um, so yeah, I think We've got a kind of design now. I think I am going to have to do a few of those drops, which are going to be a pain because I'm going to have to scaffold around all the way around and then up and down and place and yada yada. But now, oh well, such is life. You can't build. You can't build these things without things. You tell you, you really do miss your flight rings and stuff when you're not playing a a magic mod. Well, that definitely looks to me more like a roof than uh, than just a plain blue. So we need to... I'm going to need quite a lot of dirt, that's for certain. Uh, we can get this side done, because this one will be identical one here. So you'll have uh, one of those there. I'll show you what we, uh, we got up to. It's going to be slightly different obviously when we go around here, but that's not a biggie, pardon me for the little cough there, uh, which will be edited out, so if you're saying what cough, oh damn, forgot about that, um, yeah, that cough that you didn't hear because I edited, edited it out, uh, and then, where are you, carpenter's hammer, nope, so right there, like that, Carpenter's hammer there. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to need a new hammer before long. I think this is the uh, first hammer I've worn out as well. This is a lot easier when you're on the top one because you can just do right click instead of left click to to change that. And then that goes down one like that. And then so oh crap, maybe we should have uh, done that first. Uh, okay and. Blob and blob and blob uh, and same over here and blob and blob and then so this was all I did around here is just drop that down a little bit couple carpenters blocks on top pop those down and there you go and that's what we uh, we ended up with uh, probably need a walkway there as well probably coming around the tower I don't know exactly yet but that yeah it looks all right um, I think I may bring down either side though as I say that's going to be a pain in the backside anyway let me get on with doing that and I will be right
right. Um, yeah, it's about a day and a bit later. Um, but I have got this done. Painful. That's all I can say. Painful. <laughs> uh, where's my shovel gone? So yeah, we've got a bit of scaffold going on around here. Um, but yeah, we've got all the way around. So uh, I'm happy with the roof. Uh, we do need to light up on there, otherwise we've got monster spawning paradise. But um, apart from that, yeah, um, I'm, I'm very happy. It's... Oh, careful. Easy to say, easy to solve for out. There we go. Uh, right, this is probably where I fall in the drink. Nope, good. Yeah, um, tell you something, doing this scaffold is good if you want to practice your parkour skills, uh, of which mine are pretty much zero. But, um, I, uh, yeah, there's the tower to do, and then that is the main castle walls done. Um, pretty much in totality but, but we have got a fair bit of scaffolding around just to remove and as I say some lighting I think is necessary up there oh here we go almost done right and almost there oh, let's not try and hit the button yes Got it. So, yeah, um, it took a long while. <laughs> you don't appreciate a flight ring until you ain't got what. Really? This a thing now? Um, does need something around here as well. Uh, I'm going to use the same roof design on the tower, but obviously a pointy roof. And uh, we need a floor in the tower as well. But, on the whole, I'm more than happy with it. I could do with more torture. I've got a few. Um, let's just pop you down there. You down there. Where's my chisel? Chisel. 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 Uh, let's turn you back into those. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's turned out nicely. Uh, do do One there. Uh, maybe one there, maybe one there. Uh, that lot will do at a later date. Maybe one here. Ah, damn it, and I'm out. But I haven't got any torches in my bag, have I? Have I got any torches? No. I've got coal, but no wood. Ah, well, we can sort that out at a, at a later date. So, so the next thing we need to concentrate on, apart from finishing this tower off and getting some uh, walkways around the top is the gatehouse area the courtyard area I think could do with some love and what I am thinking let me just get rid of that is I have some these are going to not be going to be dirt these are going to be walled off um, what we do need to do actually while I think about it just stop any nasties coming in is the minstrels gallery up here as well don't we so have i got any more carpenters blockades of course i haven't uh, but i do have stuff to make carpenters blocks so that isn't a major issue is it let's grab those do some of that do some of that stick some of those in grab those world should be good and happy new hammer so that's a plus. Um, now, what I'm thinking is that about this height, how they're going to get up? I think I'm just going to have a ladder. The 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 minstrels are going to have. To, oh dear. Ah. Yeah, that's not going to work there, is it? Damn it. Uh -huh. Do I need to go higher? Do I need to bother with the minstrels gallery at all? Maybe not. You know, maybe. Maybe I'm just being too fussy. But yeah, we're getting there. We've got a hall. The hall has got a roof on it. Let's go and have a look at the uh, view from the village. And, and then that probably about wraps this episode up, I think. So, uh, 
let me just get a sprint on, shall we? Whee! Because no doubt there's unpleasantness waiting around. Now it's raining. Out. So, yeah, it's starting. That tower is the only thing from the external facade that needs, I think, finishing. Mossy cobble, perhaps. Um, just some moss in there, just to uh, break up the walls a little bit. But, on the whole, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'd be happy if it weren't raining, of course, because that would make for a better view. But, um, I can't say I'm dissatisfied, considering how long it's taken. <coughs> so, yeah, I think next episode we'll get the courtyard done. We'll, uh, we'll see how we're going to, you know, work that, get the lighting finished up there. And, it, it, yeah, I'm happy. So, the castle is coming along. It has a functional room. It has a roof on the main functional room and the rest of the thing and then the main central tower. And that's going to take a while. But, yeah, until next time, uh, uh, from me and the rain, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. And bye for now.